Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay, I feel like this movie is the movie of the time right now. Can you talk mm-hmm. a little bit about what was it about the script that made you say this has to be my directorial debut? Yeah, I mean, I, um, I wanted this movie to be my directorial debut because I felt the script was super funny and I felt I connected to it on both levels. I felt that I had been a teenager who wanted to lose her virginity. <laughs> so I understood that side. And then I'm also the um, parent of a daughter. And, and, and that was really mostly when I read the script, I, I really thought about my daughter, Lenny, and I was, you know, she was two at the time. And I was like, one day she's gonna grow up and like this perfect, she's this perfect, smart, funny, beautiful toddler. And she's gonna grow up and like, I don't know, bad things might happen to her. <laughs> <laughs> and how will I be, you know, when that time comes? And so I really wanted to tell that story. Yeah, I love the fact that it kind of deals with, um, with kind of the double standard of losing mm-hmm. the virginity for the girl versus the boy. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, the double standard between um, the girls and the boys, it was really important uh, for me when we were doing the movie. I was really protective of the scene with Marcy and uh, Lisa, where it was two moms talking about both their daughters and both having totally different perspectives where Marcy was calling out this double standard. And I love the line where Lisa says, "Um, I won't think about society, I'll figure out society tomorrow. Tonight I'm thinking about my daughter because that's really, that's what ends up happening. You can be the most progressive of parents and then if you think you're gonna lose your kid or something bad's gonna happen to your kid, you just do whatever it takes to save them. Yeah, I thought that that scene was really, really touching. So let's talk a little bit about the baggage that the parents bring, because really, I mean, yeah. they're just looking out for their kids, right? Yeah. So can you talk about the hilarity of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it start the movie starts so grounded, and then it's like the parents, I think, go crazy. <laughs> uh, the every parent is choosing to stop their daughter from having sex for their own different reasons. So Lisa is trying to stop her because she thinks that she's going to move away and she's literally going to lose her daughter. Her daughter's going to go away, you know, across the country. And really, she's just afraid of being alone, uh, Lisa is. And then Mitchell is like our stereotypical dad who physically wants to stop Kayla from being with Connor because he sees a top knot and hears about drug use and he's like no way (laughs) and of course that smirk uh, he just can't get that smirk out of his mind and then Hunter doesn't want to stop his daughter but then he does when he he thinks she's going to do this for the wrong reasons and so I I don't know I wanted to show like the parents having three very different reasons for wanting to stop it and then they just get they just they just to each other they just psych each other up or they get like going where they just do crazy crazy stuff <laughs> and this cast is incredible i mean yeah. you just pick the most amazing comedians can you talk about working with them yeah I, oh i loved working with the cast i loved working with um it was really fun like i would work all day with the parents and then at night with the kid like they, they i shot most of their stuff separate and uh and i feel like Leslie, John, and Ike, I feel like if they didn't have this movie, they're so different, the three of them, that they're a lot like their characters, that if, if it hadn't been for the movie, they probably wouldn't hang out. <laughs> but they are forced to hang out because that's their job. So when the three of them are together, I mean, they're hilarious. Like, they just, just their own, who they are as individuals put together is really funny. And I loved working with uh, Gideon, Geraldine, and Catherine. Like, I just felt like they were so professional and they cared so much and they're really funny and they became best friends on the movie and they're still best friends today. It's cool. And one last question. Mm-hmm. I just love the female voice to it because I know that Leslie Mann's character was originally written for a man yeah. and then you switched it to a woman. How important was it to bring that female voice to all of these characters? It was, the I think, the most important uh, char- uh, to, to make um, uh, Lisa and the Julie relationship. The Lisa-Julie relationship is like the heart and soul of the movie. and. And that was where it was like grounded in truth and where there was like real stakes involved. And to see a mom lose her mind trying to, st- like just in, e- in equal measure to the dads, it was, uh, it's refreshing. I don't, we haven't seen that before, not in this way, you know? And so it was, uh, it was like, it really made the movie the movie by, by making uh, Lisa, Leslie Mann, the mom. Yeah. <laughs>